In this video, I'm going to show you step by step how to download Cobblemon for Minecraft. The first thing you want to do is you want to go to the link in the description down below and in the pinned comment and it is going to give you all of the files and downloads that you will need along with a written step by step guide. Alright, so from here, all you want to do is you want to go ahead and do step number one, which is to install the Cobblemon mod. So underneath step number one, you're going to see this link over here and all you want to do is you want to go ahead and press on it, then it is going to take you to a page that looks like this. From here, all you want to do is you want to go ahead and locate the game version 1.21.1 or actually you guys could go ahead and play any older versions of Cobblemon but for this video we're going to go ahead and work with 1.21.1 and over here where it says platforms please make sure that fabric is actually selected. Then all you want to do is you want to go ahead and press on this green button that says download and I'm going to be downloading the most recent version for fabric so I'm just going to go ahead and press on this. Now while that's downloading, let me tell you guys about Simple Game Hosting. Simple Game Hosting offers affordable and high quality Minecraft servers where you're able to play with you and all of your friends. Simple Game Hosting makes it incredibly easy to start your very own Minecraft server because you don't need to port forward, you don't need to code or anything like that. And Simple Game Hosting offers dozens of video tutorials and also 24-7 live customer support. And the best part about this is that you have full control of your Minecraft server. You can make it crossplay, you can make it Java, Bedrock, etc. And best of all, you can even add mod packs such as Cobblemon, Pixamon, RLCraft, etc. Literally any mod pack you could think of with the click of a single button. And at the moment, there is currently a gigantic sale where everybody gets 25% off their very first month of Minecraft server hosting. So guys, if this is something you're interested in, feel free to check out the link in the description down below and in the pinned comments. All right, now all you want to do is you want to go ahead and locate the Cobblemon fabric file right over here. And if you're not able to see it on the top right like me, then what you could always do is open up your file explorer and then look underneath downloads but anyways guys all you want to do from here is you want to go ahead and drag and drop Cobblemon fabric to your desktop just like so and I recommend that you guys do this because it is going to make the process significantly easier anyways guys all you want to do is you want to head back over to the website and next up you want to install the fabric mod loader so Cobblemon is a mod so obviously it will require a mod loader so all you want to do is you want to select on this link underneath step number two then it is going to bring you to a page that looks like this go ahead and press on download then from here go ahead and press on download universal jar and all you want to do is you want to go ahead and drag and drop it to your desktop just like so then head back over to the website and then all you want to do is you want to scroll down to step number three and we need to install this other mod called fabric api and it is essential that you download this because it is basically going to make everything work together so you just want to go ahead and press on this link underneath step number three then it is going to give you a page that looks like this and all you want to do from here is you want to locate fabric api for game version 1.21.1 so just whenever you're doing this entire process make sure that all the versions are the same you never want to mix and match versions so you want to stay consistent so again we are working with minecraft 1.21.1 so that means we need to download fabric api for minecraft 1.21.1 and yep it is right over here and all you want to do is you want to go ahead and just press on download then drag and drop it to your desktop just like so all right then what we need to do is we need to head back over to the website right over here and the next thing you need to do is you need to download java if you haven't already so in order to run mods shaders basically anything minecraft related you will need java installed on your system and if you haven't already downloaded it please go underneath step number four and press on this link just like so it is then going to go ahead and bring you to a page that looks like this and you just want to double check that jdk21 is actually selected and then from here you guys can go ahead and pick on your operating system whether you're on linux mac os or on windows so me personally i'm on a window so i would go ahead and select on that then i would install the x64 installer and basically it is going to walk you through the entire setup wizard and it's incredibly easy to download java and intuitive so you just need to go ahead and press on this and then you should be able to download java no problem now i know there could be some difficulties when downloading java so if there's any difficulties then consider using and downloading the jar fix which is executable command that will attempt to repair all of the dot jar files on your system and basically make java work so if you're running into issues go to step number five and press on this link right over here and then all you want to do is you want to press over here where it says jarfix.exe then it's going to download a file and you need to run that file and then that is going to attempt to fix everything all right so once you have all that then all you want to do is you want to head back over to your desktop just like so so at this point we should have java installed on our system fabric installer cobblemon and fabric api the next thing you want to do is you want to locate the fabric installer and right click just like so 
press on open with and if you did download java on your system you should now see this option that says java tm platform se binary and all you want to do is you want to go ahead and just press on that then you're going to get a menu that looks like this and where it says minecraft version you want to change it from 1.21.6 to 1.21.1 as i mentioned previously the versions need to be consistent throughout this entire process and make sure that the box that says create profile is checked on then you want to go ahead and press on install and then you're going to get a screen that looks like this and all you want to do is you want to press on okay then you can close out of the fabric installer then from here all you want to do is you want to open up the minecraft launcher all right once you're over here you want to make sure that minecraft java edition is selected then you want to go to the top menu press over here where it says installations then over here where it says versions please make sure that modded is actually turned on because this is technically considered a modded version of minecraft and once you press on that you should eventually see something called the fabric loader 1.21.1 in the list and all you want to do is you want to go to the right of it and press over here where it says open installations folder then you're going to get a bunch of folders that look like this, but do not worry because the only folder that we need to go ahead and locate is the folder called mods. And if for whatever reason you don't see a mods folder, you can go ahead and create it yourself by right clicking, pressing on new and then folder and then calling it mods in all lowercase. But if you already see a folder called mods, then you are good to go. Anyways, guys, all you want to do is you want to go ahead and open it up. And at the moment it is currently empty. So what you want to do from here is you want to minimize the Minecraft launcher temporarily. Then you want to drag and drop both Cobble One and Fabric API inside of your mods folder. So literally just go ahead and drag and drop it. Then close out of the mods folder, return back to the Minecraft launcher, go over here to where it says play. In the version selector, please make sure that Fabric Loader 1.21.1 is selected. Then go ahead and press on play one more time. All right, guys, eventually Minecraft should open up. And all you want to do from here is you want to go ahead and create a brand new Minecraft world, or you can load into a pre-existing one, as long as it does work for Minecraft 1.21.1. All right, guys, so here we are in our world. And if we go ahead and take a quick look at the created menu, yep, you're able to tell that we actually do have a bunch of new items over here. We got a bunch of different Pokeballs. And if you look around in our Minecraft world, you will notice that we will actually get some cool Pokemon over here. We got Geodude. Yo, I love Geodude. So, yep, as you to tell this is actually working and you can even use all the functionalities like you normally would for example you can go ahead and capture pokemon that you do like and then from here you guys can go ahead and have fun playing cobblemon and if you guys found this video useful then i would definitely appreciate you guys subscribing as we are trying to reach 400 000 subscribers see you later french fries